Hi everyone, UK Guns here. So, I know it's been a while since I last made a video, or at least a uh, gun related video anyway. Um, so it's long overdue, but I've got a couple in the pipeline, so there'll be some more content coming soon. Um, but this one is something a little different. It is a gun, you can probably see it already, but it's a little bit different to some of the other stuff that I've got on the channel. Um, and that is a long barreled pistol, which you probably could tell already from the title. <clears throat> And so, what is a long barrel pistol? Well, I'm going to do my best to explain that um, to you all in this video um, and kind of introduce this one to you. I'm going to do some other videos on how to take it apart and I'll do a review as well on it at some point as well. But this video is mostly going to be about um, what a long barrel pistol is and why it is as well, because there's some important history. Uh, <clears throat> so, without further ado, this is a long bar barrel pistol. And what this is, is a GSG Firefly. Um, like I say, I'll do a separate video on this, so I'll talk about this in particular. Uh, but in this one, I'm just going to talk about why it looks the way it looks. And admittedly, it looks pretty strange. To some people I know, they'll already be saying it looks ugly, it's horrible. Um, and that's some valid points. But if you want to shoot pistols in the UK and you don't want it to be muzzle-loaded revolvers or something along those lines, this is pretty much what you have to put up with. So... Why does it look like this? Well, the reason is quite simple. It's firearms laws. So in the UK, back in 1996, um, there was an incident involving a handgun. Now, I'm not going to get into that, but there was a pretty serious incident involving a handgun. And as a result of that, the UK government decided to ban handguns and to make them not accessible to the general public. Now, in order to do that, they had to define what a handgun was. And there was a couple of ways that they defined it, which was primarily to do with barrel length and the overall length of the gun. And so some companies, of course, um, took that to say, well, if we have a barrel length that's longer than, than what is stipulated and an overall length, then it wouldn't technically be classed as a handgun. And what I mean by that is, is what they said is that all guns in the UK must not have a barrel shorter than 12 inches. But also, they must not have a shorter overall length, that is, from the very rear of the gun, whether that be a stock or anything, but it has to be permanently fixed to the muzzle. It must be 24 inches. <clears throat> so it must be 24 inches overall length, but encompass a 12-inch barrel. So some manufacturer said, well, okay, if we took a handgun and we extended the barrel to 12 inches and we put something on it, which is this, which is often colloquially referred to as the coat hanger, uh, but it's kind of like a counterweight in this guise. Um, and we extended that so that the overall length was 24 inches, then this technically wouldn't come under the ban. And that's correct. Obviously there are still caliber restrictions because the UK government also restricted calibers for semi-automatic. Um, so the only semi-automatic you're allowed in the UK is a 2.2 pistol or 2.2 anything, rifle or pistol. So for, for it to be semi-automatic magazine fed, it has to be 2.2, 2.2 rimfire. Uh, but you can have uh, revolvers uh, in other calibers like 9mm, 45 ACP, 44 Magnum, all those kind of calibers. Um, and they will look similar in that they will have normally this type of rod or something very similar. Sometimes it's dressed more like a wrist brace uh, and the uh, longer barrel as well. And that then means it conforms to UK law and then this is considered not a handgun or a pistol, but a long barreled pistol or an LBP. Now these are subject to some quite strict restrictions in the UK. Obviously it has to be on a firearms license, it has to be on your, on your license, but also it's quite strict on who can possess these. And what I mean by that is uh, with some uh, firearms, say for instance a 2-2 rifle, if you don't possess a license, but your friend does, and you both go to the range together, so long as that range is suitably uh, insured, and you are insured to be on that range, you can shoot your friend's 2-2 rifle. That's perfectly acceptable and perfectly legal. You can shoot their 2-2 rifle as long as the certificate holder for the firearm certificate is present, and the range is suitably insured, and that you are insured to shoot on that range as well. You can shoot that 2-2 rifle. You can't shoot a 2-2 pistol. And I'm not gonna get bogged down in the details of it, from what I've been told and what I understand, it's more of a kind of accidental wording in the legislation, but essentially this wasn't included uh, in the exemption that allows people to use other people's firearms. The long barrel pistol, along with section one shotguns, which is a whole nother thing, um, wasn't included in that exemption. So the long short of it is, no one is allowed to fire or handle long barreled pistols 
who does not have it on their certificate. So only the certificate holder basically can fire this, which means they're pretty inaccessible. Also means you can't try one before you buy one. You can't test out a friends and see if you like it or see if it's for you. The only time you're going to be able to fire one of these is once you've got it on your certificate and you've gone out and purchased one, which isn't ideal, but that's what it is. And that's kind of what we have to put up with. So this is a long barrel pistol. So as I say, this is here to give it the overall length. This is not a suppressor. It's styled to look like a suppressor. Let's try and get that off. It's actually a barrel shroud. So it just covers the barrel because that is, of course, the barrel. Obviously, this isn't winning any competitions on looks anyway. Um, but certainly with a barrel like that, it's not doing it any favours. So a lot of companies like GSG uh, give them these barrel shrouds to kind of make it look like a suppressor, style it on, um, on a suppressor, which is just intended um, for aesthetics, really. <clears throat> and then usually there's a weight on the end of this, and that's that does serve a purpose, which is to, to give the gun a kind of balance, sort of roughly, um, where, the, where the pistol grip is. Um, so that it kind of balances similar to an actual handgun would. So the center of gravity is, is where your hand would be. Uh, obviously this is heavier than the, the normal GSG Firefly without the long barrel and the uh, counterweight rod as well. So there we go, that's the long barrel pistol. That's why we have to have them. That's the law, because uh, handguns essentially are banned. You do get muzzle loaded revolvers, which is, uh, they're not subject to the overall length and the barrel length requirements. You can get a, a six inch or even a three inch barrel on a muzzle loaded revolver and no counterweight rod, but they're muzzle loaded revolvers. So, you know, typically black powder or nitro or something along those lines, and they're a very different style of shooting. Uh, you know, lots of people use them and, I'm, uh, you know, they're a lot of fun, but um, they are quite different to these. These are as close to a regular handgun uh, that you will be able to get in the UK on a section one firearm certificate. So there we go. As always, thanks for watching.